Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 19, and today we're going to do upgrade unlock. So basically what I'm basically what I'm gonna do is that you need a certain amount of coins in order to see the next upgrade. Alright, so this should be a pretty basic one. Uh let's hi let's hop right into it. So first of all, let's launch our main script, which I have open. Um okay, so I'm gonna add a few game objects here, which we have four upgrades and I'm going to make them appear when we have half the amount of coins or total coins because for our achievement video we already have the coins collected right so we're going to do half of that okay so I'm going to add four game objects at the top I'm just going to label this episode 19 uh, public game object click upgrade one and then we have click upgrade two, and then we also have our production upgrades. Production upgrades. All right, and now in update, let's see, we need to go to our upgrades group that we did in our optimization video, which I believe was episode 17. In here, we're gonna do, this will be out, so we're gonna do if coins.collected, or this is data, right, if coins, Dot date no it's data dot coins collected is greater or equal than five then we're gonna do click upgrade dot game object dot set active true okay otherwise it's false else false okay this kind of just good this is kind of like a way to bring mystery into the game see so if like uh, new features you can either have them like grayed out so you, what you can do is um, we can set these game objects to buttons to button and you can do click upgrade one dot enabled so you, you can't interact with it but it's kind of like a mystery thing but I'm gonna do game object just because I don't want to be able to see it okay so back to here also we can um, convert this to a question mark operator, which we'll do that. So we'll do click upgrade dot game object set active, and then inside, it's basically like an if statement inside this, which is this is either true or false. It's coin collect is greater or equal than five, true or false. And this is pretty easy. We could just copy and paste that for the rest. Click upgrade two, production upgrade one and two. And now, so let's we're gonna do the cost. So we have. 25, 10, 25, right? Is that our cost? I don't believe that is. Okay, right here, we have our cost. So for the click upgrade two, we're gonna do 25. Production upgrade, we're gonna do 25. Actually, we're gonna do, we're gonna do 15. And then for production upgrade costs, two, or production upgrade two, we're gonna do 250. So make sure you have click upgrade one, click upgrade two, upgrade, pro or production upgrade one, and production upgrade too. So you can do this for whatever you want as well. So this was kind of cool. If you want to have a certain feature, like if you want to have, uh, if you want to have like a, a prestige upgrade, which I could do in a future video too. Like if you want to have a prestige upgrade and you don't want that to appear until you have at least 10, which our prestige currency is gems, you can easily just do data.gems greater than or equal than the amount you want. All right. That should be it for that. And now let's go to our upgrades screen. So now we have everything all kind of spread out here. So I'm gonna make a new game object for each one of these. So create empty, this is gonna be called click upgrade one game object. And this is kind of like our parent, this is our parent object and we're gonna put all of these inside. So before you do that, what I like to do is kind of resize it to whatever is inside. And then we can, let's see, how do I anchor all these? Nothing. All right, so then in here, we can just bring all of our click, click upgrade one stuff to the game object. And honestly, this is the same size for everything. So actually before we do that, we can copy and paste this for our other three. So we can do click upgrade two game object production upgrade, upgrade one, game object, and then we also have our production two game object, 
Okay. So then now I like to move all my stuff so they match, they align. So this one's a little smaller because we don't have the progress bar. So we can just resize it accordingly. And then we can drag everything inside. So tip is that if you want to add more stuff and you want to resize this, um, kind of does a weird thing like this. So if you want to add stuff below this, what you can do is anchor everything to the top inside here. So then you can just drag this down and add something else. But if you want this to fit everything inside perfectly, what you can do is just drag everything out and then resize it and then move everything back in. However, I'm just going to make everything anchored to the top inside, inside the, the parent game object. And then we have our two. Cool. And that is it for that. So now we got to go to our game manager, scroll down, drag click upgrade one, two, production upgrade, and production upgrade two. So let's save it. So now we should see our stuff because, actually, no, I just deleted my saves. So we should be able to test this live. So we are in main screen. Let's go to upgrades. We don't see anything. But once we get, let's get $5. We still see nothing. $5. We see our first upgrade. Cool. Let's get the 10. We can buy that. Oh, we just saw a negative. What happened there? Oh, so yeah, now we have our second one. Let's see, what's production upgrade one? 15. Yeah. Okay. Let's buy. So yeah, because it's total coins collected. So let's buy that. Okay. I don't know why what that negative was. I kind of missed that. And now we should start unlocking more upgrades. Let's get the 250. I love that smooth progress bar. It's very satisfying. And there we go. We have our four upgrades. Anyways, that is a very short tutorial. Hopefully you guys like the shorter videos. I'm going to try to not make them an hour long because that last, that last video episode was way too long. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on the bell for future videos. Anyways, thanks guys. Peace.